Oh, oh my God. God. If nothing right. else, we had fun, right? Yeah. Oh, always. Sure. Always. Yeah, we'd be glad to come back on when you have Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> Just to pick on him. Oh, man. Now, right, my so now, it, is, now it is time for the St. Louis 7. Um, if you want to see the podcast, hear the podcast that we just did about the steamers with Steve Petra, Carl Rose, Don Ebert. It's wherever you get your podcasts. OT with Oliver. We had a ball. Now time for St. Louis 7. Steve, you went to high school in Normandy. What do you remember? And was it a good time? Oh, I mean, nothing better than high school. Um, but for sure, winning a state championship in 1974. Don, what do you remember about Rosary? Losing a final to Jim Tejan's uh, one nothing and being devastated by that. Carl, you're not from here. How long did it take you to realize we're obsessed with where people went to high school? <laughs> oh, about two days. <laughs> Steve, you got a favorite concert in town? Concert? My, my yeah. favorite concert? Um, probably Rolling Stones. Don? Oh, I've, I've switched. I've gone from uh, rock and roll college days to, to country. So uh, oh, uh, Jason Aldean would probably be my favorite guy to see in concert. Carl? I thought you would have said Dolly Parton, Don. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank favorite you. Ba best band in the whole world, Rolling Stones. There you go. All right, now Don first. After a big game, where do you go to eat in St. Louis? Oh. Well, because we played at night, to be honest, if it, if it, if Musial and Biggies wasn't available when mm -hmm. he would open up, Steak and Shake, no question. Very nice, Carl. I'm with Don. I just go home, really. I was a nice guy. I went home. Oh my! Oh, oh my! Did you just tell all the people who <laughs> didn't go home? <laughs> really? Really? Wow. I never heard Are you guys make so much noise. Wow. <laughs> Are we really going with that answer? <laughs> <laughs> so, Steve, after you won, you went to church. Where did you go? Uh, mine would have been, if, I'm going with Eves. If, if, Mutual and Biggies, <laughs> if Mutual and Biggies wasn't open, I'm not going Steak and Shake. I'm going Ragazzi's. <laughs> had, to, had to get some fish bowls. <laughs> Don, you're out in California now. Do you remember what you used to order when you went to Ted Drew's? Uh, I just remember I love the uh, French vanilla. That's all I remember at Ted Drew's. And every time we go to St. Louis, my wife makes us drive there. Something with the French vanilla. Carl? Concrete. I never went to Ted Drew's. I went to Ted Drew's after I played, but I never went there during the season. Ever. Steve, you got to go to? Oh, anything with chocolate. All right. Guys, on the following question, take your time. Unfair question. Steve Petcher, favorite St. Louis steamer memory. Oh, <laughs> nice shirt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, the fa the all time Wichita game. Don. Uh, I mean, on the field. The Wichita game. No, we can't like, talk about off. We're not talking about off, off the field, buddy. Off the field. <laughs> off this, the is, field. this is this is PG rated. <laughs> On the PG rated friendships. <laughs> Carl. Ah, uh, as a game, it would have to be Wichita. Uh, I think as a series, though, I think it would be playing New York and just trying to find a way to get to that seventh game, and hopefully we could uh, work hard enough to win, which we didn't, but uh, those are the games that stood out to me. People wanting to find out more about the Wichita game or the New York game, just go to the podcast, OT with Oliver. Steve, folks come and visit you in St. Louis. Where do you take them? Um, probably now it would be uh, Union Station. With the Ferris wheel? Oh, they got everything down there now. And soon to be, <laughs> soon to be, I'm all a stadium right across the street. Don, when you come back to St. Louis, what are you going to make sure you hit? Well, it's been a long time. I used to love going down to the hill. I don't even know. That was my go-to place. When we came, we'll go down, get some real, real Italian food, 
somewhere at the hill. That was a must stop for us. Well, you can, and you'll you'll be able to see the the big house that Catch Tory built down there. <laughs> oh, good. We're going. We'll stop there for after dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, you were a steamer for a long time. Do you remember where you used to take people when they came and visited? Yeah, well, mine would come from Canada, so I'd always take them to the Arch, you know, and uh, go down the waterfront down there and show them the Arch. If we could get up, we'd get up there. To the top but that's a sightseeing thing for people that aren't from st louis and i think a lot of st louis have never been up there either some I'm of us have been going, up, way too going back up there i'll tell you that <laughs> <laughs> all right gentlemen last question and again this one's a little different for you carl gonna start with you first man then we'll go to don then we'll go to steve carl what made you proud to be a st louis steamer wow that's a tough question. I think the camaraderie of the teammates I had that didn't make me feel like I was an outsider and uh, made me play harder because of that, because it was a lot uh, refreshing to know that, you know, you can play, you're an outsider, you know, there's lots of St. Louis, but they treat you as one of their own. So to me, that was the biggest thing of all. Mr. Don. I just pride, pride to play at home, pride to play, pride of playing for your city. Until I got traded out here, St. Louis was all I knew. So at the time, it was home, it was my all our homes, and uh, playing for your city, the pride overrode everything. And Steve, uh, two things: friendships, and nobody outworked us. Guys, I had a ball. I'm going to have to edit the audio version of this a little bit, but we had some fun, and I appreciate you all getting together. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Take care, guys. See you, boys. Right, boys. Later. Peace.